Hey guys, it's Deb Rayley with the Social Tech Team, and have you ever had this happen to you? You get on Facebook and it's just filled up in the newsfeed with content that you have absolutely no interest in. You know, maybe it's something uh, political because it's the election season. Maybe it's something highly controversial. Maybe it's the coronavirus. I don't know. But wouldn't you rather just see what your friends are posting or try to limit at least what is getting put out there? And wouldn't you like to be able to see um, posts as they're being posted, like in the order they're being posted, and not always the top uh, things happening on your newsfeed. Wouldn't you like to have a little bit more control over that? Well, I've discovered a tool that will work for you to try to tackle some of these problems. Now, here's the caveat though. Unfortunately, it will not work on a mobile device. So this is only if you're using it from your desktop and only if you're using it through Chrome, but I think it could still be a sanity saver if you do a lot of work on your computer. So let's get started. So the website we're going to go to is called Social Fixer, and it's a free service to use. You can, of course, always make a little donation their way as a thank you for this wonderful service they're providing. But I want to show you some of the um, enhancements that they have here, where you can hide ads or hide sponsored posts. You can auto switch to the most recent things posted to your newsfeed instead of the most talked about things. You can hide politics, isn't that wonderful? Um, you can filter your newsfeed by keywords, by who's posting. You can get notifications when you've been unfriended. So this is something that's kind of working behind the scenes. This, these are not standard features in Facebook. Um, you can also hide parts of the page that you don't want to see. So there's so many different things that you can do, and it's a quick download to, it's an extension rather, to your Chrome. So this is a Chrome extension. So I'm going to click Go Download, and this will work on uh, both Mac and PC. And you're going to go here to download the Social Fixer for Chrome, the extension. It takes you to your web store, and you just say Add Chrome. And you're going to say Add Extension. Okay? Now, it adds this extension, and when you are in Facebook, you're going to be able to make some adjustments here. So let me show you how that works. Once you're logged into Chrome, you see these are all my extensions that I have right up here along the top. You're looking for this one right over here that says Social Fixer. So if I click on Social Fixer, the extension right up here, and I go down here to Options. And guys, by the way, you'll notice it says Remove from Chrome, so you can always remove this if you decide you don't like it. But click on Options. Here is where you're going to make all of your setting adjustments. It pulls up Facebook, and here is Social Fixer, and here are all the things. I'm not going to go through all of the things, but I'm going to talk about a few of those. So they have some default checks in here that you can, of course, uncheck, and other features that you can turn on. So for example, Facebook defaults to show you the top stories or the most talked about things going on in your newsfeed. This option detects this view and automatically will switch you to the chronological most recent view. So if you want to see what's the most recent post coming up in your newsfeed, then you'll want to turn that feature on. Facebook hides messages from people outside of your network and doesn't alert you. Remember how we get those uh, messages from people who are not our friends? And it goes into that message request area and you have to just know to go look for it. So here, if we turn this on, you will get an alert if you have unread messages. Isn't that awesome? All right. Next thing we want to talk about, um, let's see, comment navigator. Uh, I'm going to skip over that. I'm trying to look, try and look for the most popular things. Um, if you need to know when time, if you need to know when comments were made, particularly if in your business you're doing um, different types of contests and things, you want to have things time stamped. You can have that turned on and. and you can have the timestamp put on the, the comments so you can see when things were posted. Um, ba, 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 ba. Enable friend manager so you'll know if people are unfriending you. Let's see here. Where was the... Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, under here. Hide posts. Here we go. <clears throat> so under uh, each keyword, so you enter in keywords. So if there are certain things that you see repetitiously showing up in your newsfeed and you're like, I really don't want to see any of that. Uh, then you can activate hide posts if it has these keywords or these phrases in here. And here's where you would just type in the keywords or phrases. There are also some built-in filters here. So if you go to filters, you can create new filters too. 
and you can filter on pages and timelines and you can filter in groups. Isn't that awesome? So it's not just your personal timeline. You can filter in your group or on your page. Um, and so here are some uh, filter subscriptions, like things that they have already built in here. So again, election politics. Say, I want to add that filter. I don't want to see things about elections and politics. Um, if you want to hide sponsored posts, you can add that. So you can have, you can see that there are some things in here uh, that are built in, but you can also add a filter. So if I create a new filter, I can put a title to it. So if it says anything, like I'm going to say uh, coronavirus, coronavirus, ah, anything about coronavirus. And I say, if any post content contains in the word or words, match partial words, then I want to hide the post. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, coronavirus, um, match partial words. It, uh, I'm not going to have that. I'm going to take that one out. Then I'm going to hide a post. Add the action. Oh, sorry about that. And I'm going to say done editing filter. All right, so I've got these two in here and those are in my filter. So now I click save changes. So now when I am on my new speed, I'm going to refresh it because remember it says you have to reload all of your things, all of your tabs in Facebook for it to work. So if I click on reload, I'm going to save my changes. And now anything that has those should be clear of my news feed. And this should be, it has the timestamp so I can look to see it's 1034 my time. This was posted 1034 just now. And I can see 1034. So I know chronologically things are correct. And I can see that I don't have anything in here that has anything to do with politics or coronavirus. So guys, this is a great tool. So if you're looking for a way to maybe reduce your stress when you're online uh, working on your business on Facebook and you get distracted with certain things or you find your heart racing over certain things, this could be a great, easy, free tool to at least lower that while you're using, the, while you're using uh, Facebook from your computer. Because remember, it won't work on a mobile device. You can have all these things set up, but if you're looking at Facebook from your mobile device, that's just gonna be regular old Facebook. These changes will only be reflected if you're using Chrome um, and you're using Facebook from your computer. But I hope it helps. So anyway, y'all give it a try. Check it out. Tell me what you think. Have a great day.